we will be moving for the implementation of the resolution by the 10th parliament to remove Kenya from ICC. Informed by the notion that the ICC cases are politically instigated, tailored to target Jubilee leaders, members of parliament allied to the ruling coalition vote to make good a resolution passed by the 10th parliament that Kenya pulls out of the Rome Statute. And aware of the thinly veiled conspiracy between the local civil society organizations, namely AFRICOG, and the political detractors of the Jubilee government and their sulking neocolonial neo Western cahoots. Buoyed by the resolution of the African Union Summit in May this year, which urged the International Criminal Court to refer the crime against humanity cases against President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto back to Kenya, Jubilee members accused the ICC of perpetrating neocolonialism, targeting prospering African democracies. This court is political and is meant uh, to actually uh, deal with uh, uh, the people who actually, or leaders who are not uh, 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 reading the same, from the same script with, uh, with our former colonial masters. The Jubilee legislators are also seeking to put Kenya at par with countries like USA, Russia, India and China, which are not signatories to the Rome Statute and are not regarded as failed states. We want to join other democratically elected governments like USA, China, Russia, India and Israel, who are not members of ICC. The 40 Jubilee members who converged at the Serena Hotel this afternoon are now pushing for the reconvening of both houses of the bicameral parliament on Thursday this week to start working on the process that will expunge the clause that domesticated the Rome Statute in Kenya. They hope to rely on the Jubilee numerical advantage in both houses to push through the resolution. If this law is not working well for our country, we have the liberty to change because we represent uh, the sovereign interest of Kenyans. The leaders of majority of both houses, Eden Dwale and Kithure Kindiki, are now expected to request their speakers to cut short Parliament's recess and resume sittings on a date that has now been confirmed to be on Thursday this week. Meanwhile, William Ruto's defense team has requested the court's presidency to reverse a decision made by the plenary of judges which denied the request to have the cases be heard in either Kenya or Tanzania. The defense team argues that the plenary of judges relied heavily on submissions of the prosecutor which were not part of the ones submitted before the determination. The defense submitted that if the presidency does not have the authority to vacate the decision, then it should reconvene the plenary of judges to determine whether the decision should be vacated for procedural impropriety and unfairness. Ken Dagor, Obadiah for Monday Special.